welcome back folks to another video with fly fishing with Jeff and uh, you know what I'm going after I had it a little differently I'm in my float tube and uh, I am going to be fishing for well right there in fact big bluegill tonight I've got my two weight and my three weight there's a nice probably eight inch bluegill I think they're bigger than that in here and um, I'm gonna go under and over as I like to call it I got one my three weight rod set up with the top water and my two weight right here my smaller two weight set up with a streamer a little uh, actually just a little trout candy kind of a weighted trout candy and a few other morsels that I'm gonna try up here and so uh, that's what we're doing beautiful night here in June Northwest Wisconsin and I'm really kind of just on the move right now to get to a couple of spots towards the other end of the lake so all I'm really kind of doing is casting and oh dragging trolling along here and uh, we're gonna go up to the other end and try to catch some big bluegill Probably get some bass mixed in there with them, but uh, on the smaller rods. So, ought to be an interesting night. Beautiful night. There's just enough wind, I think, to keep the bugs down. And uh, we'll see how it goes. So, come along with me. There we go. There we go. Well, we've gotten back here on this end of the lake. Oh, well, that's a bass. But we'll take him. Still fun on a 2.8. Beautiful, beautiful night, folks. I don't know if you can hear the... Got a pair of barred owls right there talking to me. Always enjoy having those out there on a cold, crisp April, May morning when I'm turkey hunting, listening for gobbles. really hear him growl. What a gorgeous night. Oh, what do we got? Something got me. I didn't get it. That was a accidental catch. Feels pretty heavy. What we got? All bass. All right. Yeah, he's not bad. Sometimes you just got to take a look around, and once in a while that gets me in trouble. But ended up catching him anyway, didn't I? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Little bass. Healthy little guy. We'll take all those. All right, so we're kind of back where we're going to start finding some bluegill. Back in this cove, but we're going to keep fishing around the edge till we get back there. Got it. Not much of a bluegill though. Darn. You are a junior. And this one's got, if 
you remember you were with me last year I caught some walleye or a pike that had black spot disease that that's what this one has I don't know if you can see that real black spots all over and uh, I did a little story if you want to look that up it's on my website and uh, has to do with birds dropping uh, materials into the lake that the feed fish feed on and so on Got this in here. I'll give you a quick peek. This is just a little simple little tie. Get a little green grasshopper. Let's see. Are we wrapped around? We are wrapped around. There we go. Something big got it. All right. Whoa, my goodness. I hope you saw that. What a jumper. What a jumper. What a jumper. A little shout out here to my good friend, my man down in Arkansas, Keith McNutt. Keith, you might recognize this fly. Ooh. Look at that little bass right there. Get this rod back up here out of the way. That's one of your ties. Would you like that? Thought you would. I like them. They work perfect for this kind of situation. Wow, that bass was... Oh my gosh, let's look at that one right there. That one just came out of the water. Yeah, they're, they're hitting those damselflies. I believe that's a better bluegill for sure. Yeah, that's gotta be a good one. Oh my, that's a real good one. Look at that one, folks. I like it. Oh yeah. Got to get it. I like it. All right, so you can see how big that one is. About four or five inches across. That's what we're after. We found a few of those, but not enough. And I switched to a uh, black because of the damselflies. Little black ant with white legs. But it does not float real well. So Shucks.
goodness, that one gave me a that one, give me a tug. <sighs> All right, not quite as big. Got that red, oh, that red breast on there. Pretty good bend on this three weight. Yep, yeah. look at that, folks. I love it. What's not to love? Quiet Lake. Look at that scenery right there. I don't know if you can tell or not, but I'm up here in the northwest corner of Wisconsin, and we have got smoke from the Canadian wildfires going on been a long time since we've seen a clear sun. Oh goodness gracious what hit me there. That's a bluegill. That's a good one. Oh that's a bass. All right we'll take him. We'll take him. What fun. What fun. Yeah I hear you. I hear you. There we go. There we go. Nice. All right. I got a pretty good pull for a little bass beauty look at that all right 12 incher I love it so that's what I've got on right now if you can see that that's a little I think it's a 130 second jig if you look it up on my website it's called the weighted jig trout candy and that's all it is right through the water like that and clean it up a little bit better Trout love it, but so do the bluegill bass. Oh my gosh, crappie just surprised I haven't found the crappie with it yet. They really like that minnow look. That's a good oh what do we got a little bass maybe yeah and on a two eight that's not bad 
Well, that was fun. Went to a purple popper here. And um, I gotta think it's look, look, will look a lot like the uh, damselflies that are buzzing around, dragonflies and damselflies, but we'll see. back in there somewhere. <clears throat> well, here comes some nervous water. fun. Let me tell you a little bit about what I was talking about there. I know most people understand nervous water. You hear that a lot of with the bone fishermen and tarpon fishermen. Um, but it also happens when that fly is sitting there. And I see this a lot on the river with the smallmouth. As that fly is setting there, that fish will come up and stage right under it. What it does, the water tension creates a little bulge. And you can just see that. Now wait, wait, and then they open their gills, take it in. And that's kind of what you gotta keep your eyes open for. I see it a lot with smallmouth on the river. That fish was doing it. It was staging right there underneath, looking for checking that meal out. Huh. That's too bad. There we go. Hey, little jumper. No, oh, jumper, triple. Did a triple for us. Easy now, easy, easy. Easy, easy. All right, be free.
Somebody's feeding back there. Pretty shallow. A lot of grass. Let's see if we can find a spot to There we go, that's a pretty good fish, that one's pulling. Oh, just spit something up, lost part of his previous meal. Come on in here. Well, <clears throat> you know folks, it's just been a blast. I'm up back to the takeout. Ooh, got that purple bug way down in there. What a fun night. Simple. Especially for me here within a couple minutes of my house. But I think that's a wrap for me. I'm going to go home. I oh, might even find something to eat tonight. Late supper. Got a great gal at home and a our new cabin, we just love it and love living up in here. So, glad you could come along on this little foray for bluegill and bass and on two weight and three weight. So until we meet again, as they say, you just have a great, oh, great day, and uh, hopefully you got a little place. Uh oh, I hear one. Yep, jumping back in there. You got a place by you that you can do this very same thing: get out, <sighs> kayak, canoe, float tube. Hopefully, oh, and go find you some fish to pick on. I think I'm going to uh, shut the camera off and go catch this one back here behind me that's making some noise and let you guys go. Have a good night.